Hello friends, welcome back to LMSDaily.com. In today's video, we will try to answer the query raised by one of our audience. Uh, in his question, he asked that the topic name that you gave multi-language filter test is the same even in the Spanish language as well. How do we change that? So basically, his question means that uh, during our plugin review of multi-language content filter V2 for Moodle, we showed how you can create the multi-language content for any uh, language teaching course in your Moodle site. During the test, we gave the activity name uh, in English language and his query is asking that if the learner is viewing the same page in the Spanish language, then also the uh, title is shown in the English language only. So in this example, we will show you how you can set up the title also to change according to the preferred language in the multi-language content so let us see how you can do that so in order to change the headings also according to the preferred language you need to log in to your site as the site admin and then go to the plugins tab and then navigate to the filters section and click on the manage filters here you need to make sure that you have this multi language content v2 is enabled so which means this on and secondly you need to check out that this section specifically here you have selected content and headings instead of just content which means that this filter will change the content of headings also in addition to the text content so I will just change this to content and headings for this example and now we will go to a Moodle course here and let me show you by adding a new page. Here you need to give the name also in those language tags which we have learned during our multi language content filter. Uh, so I will just paste them here. So what it means is that you have to paste this language tags in the title also. So I am pasting this mlang English and class information. So this text will show the class information as this title of this new page for the users who are having English as a language and then for the users who are having English United States as their, as their language it shall uh, show this class 2 information basically to distinguish between the two I have set it up accordingly and then in the page content also I will just add a similar content here For English language, this will show this is a random piece of text, and for this one, this is a random screencast. And that's it. So we will just click on save and return to course. So we have this class information showing on our course page, and now I will just go to the course and show you how it will look alike for the students so now we are on our course page and here we will scroll down and you can see that we are seeing a content named as class 2 information you remember that we have selected this class 2 information for the English United States as their preferred language and this user is having uh, English United States as their preferred language as you can see in the preferences tab here So let us click on the page resource to see what content it will show. And you can see that it is showing the second piece of content. This is a random screencast for the users who are having uh, English United States as their preferred language. So this is how you can show the headings also within the same language as the content. Please let me know if you are able to follow this screencast or if you are facing any problems please post them in the comments section below i will be happy to help you out and thank you very much for watching this video till now if you have not yet subscribed to our youtube channel please don't forget to click the subscribe button as well as press the bell icon